Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm Amanda Fowler of Inspiring Inkin. Welcome to my craft room. In today's video, we're going to be making this card. It's using a brand new stamp set called Timeless Tulips. And the technique I'm actually going to be showing you today is how to get this lovely two-tone effect on your stamps. So let's turn the camera around and get crafting. So here is the card in close up. I'm going to be making the whole card, but obviously I'm going to be concentrating mainly on showing you this two tone effect. Um, the colours that I'm using ink pads are Old Olive, Poppy Parade, and Mango Melody. And the stamp set is Timeless Tulips with the matching punch. So let's get these ink pads open. I have already mounted all the stamps and I've also got here my uh, chamois. Um, it's in the catalogue and you just put water on it and it works really, really well at cleaning your stamps. I keep mine in a, a stamp case, which you can buy in a set of four. Everything that I show you today is available in my online store. If you scroll down, whether you're on my blog or on YouTube, you will be able to find links to that. Okay, so let me just show you these awesome stamps. Um, I will point out that these are photopolymer stamps. They start out life like this, clear. And not long after they spend some time with me, they end up pink. Um, they go really pink if you use a lot of reds, but it just, uh, the dye ink stains the photopolymer. I don't mind that at all, really. It means that I can uh, find them on my desk, whereas the clear ones I don't always find. So let me just show you how much detail there is in this stamp. So I've just inked it up in Mango Melody. And you can see how detailed of an image you've got there. And then let me just do this one as well in Poppy Parade. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this technique that I'm going to be doing uses a sponge dauber. And I'll just snip that off there uses a sponge dauber and all you are going to do is ink up in mango melody and then use the sponge dauber on the poppy parade and just go just dab around the outside edge now the more uh, poppy parade you put on obviously the the more orangey red it's going to be um, and I'll just show you sort of a couple of, of different different ways. So here, I've only just touched it on the edge there. Make sure when you're doing this technique, you clean your stamp. So clean it now before you go back onto Mango Melody. Basically, there, there will be a little bit of residue of Poppy Parade ink on this stamp. And if you don't clean it, you're going to start contaminating your Mango Melody ink pad. So for this one, I'm just going to put some Poppy Parade here down at the bottom. And so you've got a two-tone um, tulip that way. So I'm just going to clean... <laughs> I'm just going to clean it off start again okay and now this time I'm going to put quite a lot um, of poppy parade on and then we'll just give it a, a stamp like that so you can see obviously you've still got the mango melody in the center there but you've also got that on the outside edge so let's snip that off and I think for this card, what I'm actually going to do is I'm, I'm going to do a variation of this for these ones. So again, clean your stamp, ink it up, and I'm going to put some Poppy Parade here at the base and also just at the tip. And stamp that down. Fabby. So I've just got a tiny bit at the top and some at the bottom. And then... I'm going to pop that in and line it up 
I should have left a bit more cardstock, but it's okay. We will manage. There we go. Okay, so that's one. So now I am going to do the rest of the stamping. And what I'm going to do is just put a piece of scrap paper there so that I can put my stems in. So there are two stems and I'm using this straighter stem. And I'm going to put, if I just bring the card in, you'll be able to hopefully be able to see that. Um, I'm going to do three sort of straight and then one at an angle. So that's one, two, three, and then this one kind of going off at an angle. Then I am going to put in the flowers. So I'm going to start with the bud. And again, I'm going to do like, oh, where's it gone? There it is. Like this one. So I'm going to put some poppy parade down at the bottom and then a tiny touch at the top. And every flower will be different when you do this technique. And actually I'm going to stand up so I can look over the top and get it in the right place. So there we go, so there's one. Then my second flower. So again, quite a bit at the base and then a little touch at the top. And clean it off. I'm actually going to do a second one here. Like so. And then finally this one is going to go on there like that. Yes. So, where's my leaf? Now I'm going to add in some leaves. Again, I'll bring this scrap in so I can go over the edges. So I'm going to put that there. And like so. And a little bit at the base there. And then that one. And there and this one here and one a bit further up so that is all of the, the flower stamping we've just got the greeting to do and this time I think I'm actually going to do the greeting in the old olive so I love <laughs> when I'm making um, different projects I love to just change things around a little bit so it's, it's very similar, but it's not exactly the same. So, to use the punch, punch that out, and then I'm just going to punch out a piece of Mango Melody as well. Right, I'm nearly finished, but I have realised I haven't actually stamped the inside. So I need to do that very quickly. So let's just put a stem and a leaf. And then clean that stamp and just a little bit there there we go so we've got something on the inside as well fab right let me move the ink pads out of the way and then I can get this all assembled so Tombow glue 
old olive layer first. Parade, card blank. Then I'm just going to put this on the inside. I just love how that then coordinates with the front. And then all I've got to do is put the larger tulip on and the reason I've kind of stamped it here on a diagonal is so that the tulip can kind of hang over the edge um, just it just gives it a little bit more dimension so that is just going to the edge of the card and then for this piece, obviously these are exactly the same size. But all I'm going to do is snip this in half and put a little bit of glue here. And just stick it underneath. So it just it's just going to lift it from um, the sentiment, but it just means that you can have a matching border that is, is the same. So I'm just going to pop that there, because <laughs> can you see, I haven't quite stamped the image there. So I'm just going to pop it there. Um, it's going to cover that little mistake perfectly. So, it's one of the reasons I love doing punch sentiments because they can hide things, as can rhinestones and butterflies, <laughs> glitter, sequins, all kinds of things you can hide things. So never, never despair if you make a mistake. Quite often you can hide it. So let me just get this last little bit off. I'm nearly done. This is such a quick card. So. Straighten that up, pop that over there. So let's tidy up, move things out of the way. And so this is the original card and this is the, the second card that I've just made. So here you can see that the two-tone effect is sort of around the edge. Here you've got a much more defined two-tone effect. Now this technique you can use with lots and lots of different stamps. It works really well with this kind of solid image, um, but you can work, you can use it with line art stamps as well, but the bigger the better really. And just remember, you go from the lightest color first. So ink up your stamp in the lightest color and then use a sponge dauber with a darker color. And if you're really careful, you can get two or three different colours um, or even four or more, maybe. Depends how big your stamp is um, and you can sort of add them to your image. But just make sure, final word of warning, to clean your stamp every time because what you want to make sure is that you're not contaminating your ink pads. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed today's two-tone tulip card and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.